Today we're going to make a modern drink, the Full Windsor. For this drink, you're going to need a rocks glass, a graduated double jigger, a bar spoon, a vegetable peeler, a hawthorn strainer, and a mixing glass. This drink uses lightly peated scotch, apple brandy, sweet vermouth, benedictine, peychaud bitters, aromatic bitters, and an orange peel for garnish. This drink was created in 2009 by Eric Castro, the award-winning bartender turned filmmaker who co-owns Polite Provisions in San Diego. Castro freely admits that this drink was a funky remix of the Vucure. At the time of the drink's inception, he was obsessed with trying to mix Calvados and Scotch, and with this being the resulting cocktail, clearly his obsession paid off. The full Windsor benefits from using a lightly peated scotch. A thunderously smoky dram is too overpowering in this drink, and a non-peated scotch gets lost in the crowd. But a scotch with a noticeable yet manageable amount of peat is just right. So basically you're looking for the Goldilocks of peated whiskey. There are different types of apple brandy. Calvados in particular comes from the Normandy region in France. And I prefer to use Calvados in this drink, but feel free to use Applejack or some other apple brandy instead. I'm using Dolan for the sweet vermouth, but if you want to be more accurate, Castro calls for it to be made with Carpano Antica. That part's up to you, but either way you can't go wrong. This is an easy sipper for a drink that's all booze. It's a combination of some of my favorite flavors. It's along the lines of a Bobby Burns, but with a bigger presence of fruit and just a touch of smoke. The Full Windsor is the perfect name for this drink, because like the knot it's named after, it's got confidence and style but with the vanity of a scoundrel. Let's start by chilling our glass. Fill it with ice and water and set it aside. Next we're going to measure an ounce of scotch, add that to the mixing glass. Measure an ounce of apple brandy, add that to the mixing glass. Measure three quarter ounce of sweet vermouth, add that to the mixing glass. Measure a quarter ounce of benedictine, add that to the mixing glass. Give it a couple dashes of aromatic bitters and a couple dashes of peychaud bitters. Add ice and stir it well to chill it down and give it some dilution. Dump the ice and water from your rocks glass. Drop in a large hunk of ice and strain the contents of your mixing glass over the ice in your chilled rocks glass. Cut a wide swath of orange peel, being careful not to cut into the white pith. Express the oils of your orange twist over the drink, rub it along the rim of your glass, and drop it in for garnish. And there it is, the drink that doesn't settle for half measures. The full Windsor. Enjoy. Click here for more videos, be sure to subscribe, and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.